Okay then my friends, so like I said in the previous lesson, TypeScript is a language built on top of JavaScript. It's known as a superset of the JavaScript language. So really we'd be using it in places we normally use JavaScript, like in the browser, or even directly on a server or computer in a Node.js environment. The thing is, those environments don't run TypeScript directly. First of all, TypeScript needs to be compiled into JavaScript so that it can run in those places. Now this is a really easy process, so don't be put off by it, but it does mean that we need to install the TypeScript package on our computer first of all. Now you can install TypeScript on a project by project basis if you want, or you can install it globally on your computer. For this series, we'll be installing it globally so that we can run the TypeScript compiler across any and all projects. To do that, we need to use this command, npm install g to install it globally and then TypeScript. So let's grab that command and open up a terminal. So inside your terminal, it doesn't really matter what directory you're in because we're going to install this globally. Just paste in this command right here, npm install hyphen g to install globally and then TypeScript. Then press enter. It's going to install that TypeScript package for us and allow us to compile TypeScript files into JavaScript. So then I've opened up VS Code in a brand new folder called TSMC, which stands for TypeScript Masterclass. And I'm going to make a new TypeScript file called index.ts. So TypeScript files have this .ts extension instead of .js. There's your first difference, right? And then inside this file, I'm just going to make a new variable by saying let age equal to 30. And then I'm also going to log this age variable out to the console as well. Now this is valid TypeScript and it's just the same as JavaScript so far, nothing special about it. We've not added in any type annotations at all yet. However, because we've given this variable a number type now, we couldn't then change the value to a string later on. It's not going to let us do that and instead we would get an error. So although this looks the same as JavaScript so far, that type checking is going on in the background and it provides error feedback when something isn't right. But still, it looks identical to JavaScript, right? Now, what if I want to run this file on my computer? Well, we first need to compile this TypeScript into JavaScript. And that might seem odd because this looks identical to JavaScript. But it's still TypeScript and it's still a TypeScript file. So we still need to compile it to JavaScript before we try to run it. So to do that, open up a terminal and make sure you're in the correct directory where the TypeScript file is and then type TSC, which stands for TypeScript Compiler and then the name of the file, which is index.ts and then just press enter. So this is going to compile the TypeScript and spew out a JavaScript file with the same name but with a .js extension. And if we take a look inside that file, we can see the JavaScript code is identical, but it's not always going to be the case. As we start to use more TypeScript features, then the output code will gradually become very different from what we write in the TypeScript files. So then, now we have a JavaScript file. We can run this on our computer, right? So to do that, we can open up the terminal and we can type node and then index.js. And that's going to run the index JavaScript file. And then we should see the console log right here. Awesome. Now we'll come up with a better workflow later on so that we don't have to keep typing out these two commands to run a file. But for now, at least everything seems to be working. And now in the next lesson, we can start looking at some of the basic types in TypeScript.